So in this first episode, let's talk about a fun swim session. Say you don't have a coach on the pool deck and you're about to go for a swim. How do you structure a fun swim session that's both effective and not boring? Well, ask yourself some questions first. What is my goal for the day? Is it speed? Is it technique work? Is it endurance? How much time do I have? First and foremost, in contrast to cycling or running, you recover much faster from swimming. And then this also means that you can't do that much wrong in planning your training as a triathlete. But you should start with a warm up on land, followed by a warm up in the water. Then, if you've decided to do some technique work, for example, do it in the beginning when you're still fresh and focused, not at the end. For the main set or the main sets, variability is key. It doesn't have to be all the way freestyle. Mix in some other strokes every once in a while. That's really important. However, don't forget, in case you're training for a longer distance race, make sure you get in a few longer swims as well. There's just no way around it. And at the end of each practice, make sure you do some cool down swimming, at least 200 meters or so. It's good for your body to start the recovery process and you'll be even fitter for your next session. So good luck with all of that and remember to have fun in the pool.